The high angle of attack protection protects the aircraft against low speed and stall. This protection right here is available to the pilot but does not eliminate the pilots from having to exercise normal judgment when it comes to stalling the aircraft. We will be looking at the high angle of attack protection right here in a schematic where we look at the speed tape together with the stall graph. A couple of things to highlight here about the protection. When the current angle of attack becomes greater than the alpha protection angle of attack, then the high angle of attack protection becomes active. And when the high angle of attack protection is active, the side stick no longer gives inputs in terms of load demands, it gives inputs in terms of angle of attack values. You can consider more or less that the side stick neutral is zero angle of attack and that a full deflection is close to the maximum angle of attack. In order for the high angle of attack protection to become active and stay active, the pilots will need to have and hold a constant input on the side stick holding the nose up. Let's take a closer look right here and I have two elements to this illustration. Because the aircraft is not equipped with any angle of attack indication, the system automatically translates the side stick deflection, the angle of attack, into a speed. In fact, the flight augmentation community, the FAC, which computes the speed tape right here, continuously calculates the minimum speed, the maximum speeds, as well as the low speed protection. So, in order for us to understand the angle of attack protection, we will be taking a look here at the speed tape with the indication for normal law. When we're in normal law, we have three points to the speed tape. The yellow here is our current speed. The top portion right here where it says VLS corresponds to a certain value on our angle of attack graph. This graph you may have seen multiple times during your ATPL theory in Principles of Flight. It represents the amount of angle of attack to the coefficient of lift. As I'm raising the nose, as I'm generating a higher angle between the relative airflow and the cord line over the wing, I will also generate more lift. Higher angle of attack, more lift, more lift, more lift until eventually I reach this point called coefficient of lift maximum. This is where the angle of attack is at its critical value and where the airflow on the upper portion of the wing starts to separate, creating a stall. The stall speed is continuously calculated by the FAC and will be illustrated right here. So the margin down to the operational speeds that we use and to the protection is also calculated and they're fixed values. The first speed, if you will, is the VLS, the lowest selectable speed. It is represented on my speed tape here as the upper portion of the amber pole right here. It is the lowest speed that I can also select on my FCU window on my glare shield. It's the lowest speed right here. You should not be flying below VLS even with your aircraft fully configured. The VLS value is the lowest selectable speed, but it does depend on the configuration of the aircraft. For example, the VLS right here has a 28% margin to the stall speed, to the onset of a stall, in clean configuration. In configuration full, it has a 13% margin. In your manual, the relationship is described as VLS in config zero is 1.28 times Vs 1G and so on and so forth for other configuration. But it means you have a 28% margin to the actual stall. If I take the side stick and I move it fully back, raising the nose, I will allow the aircraft speed to drop. And while holding that attitude, I might be able to stall the aircraft. The first thing that will happen is that the aircraft speed will drop below VLS and then hit the upper portion of the amber barber pole. That is called V-alpha prop. 
V alpha prod is where the high angle of attack protection kicks in. It becomes active. It introduces a couple of things around the aircraft which are automatic. For example, lateral spiral stability is introduced so that if I were to have a bank angle, the aircraft will no longer hold the bank on the roll. It will roll wings level, preventing a spin scenario. But other than that, hitting V alpha prod right here will not mean anything other than the demand you're giving on the side stick is now an angle of attack demand, not a load factor demand. If I were to hold the nose up by having a continuous side stick deflection backwards, then the speed can go all the way down to and hit what we call V alpha max. V alpha max right here is the lowest speed with the smallest margin to the actual stall that the aircraft can maintain. When the speed drops down to V alpha max right here, the protection is active in a way that it overrides what you're doing on the side stick. So while I'm sitting and holding full deflection back, the aircraft will no longer allow the pitch attitude to be increased. In fact, it might start to slightly lower the nose to maintain that speed as the bare minimum. It has a very small margin to the onset of a stall here. But what happened in the middle between V alpha prod and V alpha max was the line right here, which I skipped, and it's called V alpha floor. I skipped it for a reason because it is not depicted on your speed tape and it is a function of the angle of attack on the side stick. V alpha floor is not a flight control protection. It is actually an auto thrust protection, which is tied together with a high angle of attack protection. When V alpha floor kicks in at a certain angle of attack here, the auto thrust will command maximum power on the engine, torque of power, and lock it on the engines, regardless of where the thrust levers are. So even if the pilot forgets to put maximum thrust in an attempt to climb in an excessive manner the alpha floor will kick in somewhere between v alpha prod and v alpha max to put maximum power on the engine when holding full side stick back deflection you can only allow the speed to go down to v alpha max this is where the protection kicks in in such a manner that the aircraft overrides you this was a short video on a specific topic if you want to see the full video or see the hundreds of videos we made available for professional content on aviation theory, head on to our e-learning academy at academy.mindspacex.com. And don't forget to hit the like button and the subscribe button to follow us. We're going to be putting out these videos regularly.